The federal government has now confirmed it will not send a warship to the Red Sea to help protect the important shipping lane from Iran-backed Houthi rebels. Let's go live to our federal politics reporter Fiona Willen. Fee, good morning to you. Just talk us through what's been revealed. Well, Davina, the Defence Minister has confirmed Australia will increase its contribution to the region but will not be sending a warship to the Red Sea. Uh, Richard Mull says up to six extra Defence Force officers will be deployed to Bahrain uh, to take part in the US-led Operation Prosperity Guardian. Now, America had asked Australia to contribute a warship to help keep sea lanes safe after militants from Yemen started attacking cargo ships and disrupt disrupting vital trade routes. Instead, the Deputy PM says the ADF will have up to 16 personnel t taking part in the maritime operations in the Middle East. We won't be sending uh, a ship or a plane. Uh, that said, we will be almost tripling our contribution to the combined maritime force. We need to be really clear around our strategic focus, and our strategic focus is our region, the North East Indian Ocean, uh, the South China Sea, the East China Sea, the Pacific. Now, the Prime Minister yesterday indicated there was no plan for a warship to be sent, saying the US understands the best way for Australia to get behind this is through diplomatic support. The Shadow Defence Minister has described that decision as an embarrassment for Australia, saying we should very much be involved because international prosperity and security are at stake. Davina? OK, Fiona, thank you.